preach the word, and uh, then we're going to get into a message. Go right ahead, Ron. Oh, been hearing this all morning. That's you know you're a child. I'm no longer a slave That's right. to fear. Amen. But I'm a child of the living God. Amen. You were blood bought, born again. He was beaten for you. Amen. His blood spilled. His flesh was ripped apart for you. All right. All right. Oh, he was whipped beat to death before he even carried that cross up on the mount for you. Oh, do you understand what he went through for you? All oh, so that we can bear witness to his name. Yes, right. Yes. right. The big thing today is we got to grasp that we are light bearers. We are the bearers of his name. Amen. Amen. We are the ones to carry out what He sent us and commissioned us out to do. Absolutely. And we should not be afraid of. Right. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing this world can take away from you that you don't let it take. Right. He has fully empowered you All right. through the Word and through the Holy Spirit to take on anything. Yes. Amen. We are called to be light bearers. You need to put yourself in the time of Christ here. They didn't have electricity. There was no, you know, flipping a switch on the lights came on. That's right. Their light source was fire. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Fire. What's the Holy Spirit referring to that? Right. A fire. All right, all right. The book of Hebrews, it's believed maybe that Paul probably wrote the book of Hebrews. He goes as far as to say, that our God is a consuming God. Right. Yeah. That Holy Spirit should be consuming you. Yes. It should be overwhelming every single part of you. Hallelujah. It is not for us to tame. It is not for us to put under a bushel, under right. a bed. Yeah. We are sitting, yes. set on a hill. That's yeah. right. We are a light to a world that is crying out to yeah. hell. Yeah. Everywhere around you. Right. We have got to open our eyes and our ears yes. and hear the voice of the Lord yeah. when He is speaking. Because He is always speaking. God is right. never yeah. silent. Yeah. Don't let the devil lie to you and try to tell you that God is quiet. God is yeah. always talking to us. Right. we got to come in here with expectation. Right. We got to leave here with expectation that God's going to do something. Yes, Amen. We are not meant to be pew centers, church goers. Right. We are meant to be light bearers. Yes, that's right. The Book of Philippians, Paul talks about this, about how we are the light bearers for Christ. A fire takes time to build. It takes effort. Yes. You don't just build a fire in a couple of minutes. You've got to cut the wood. You've got to break down. It exerts some actual effort and energy in yes. building a fire. Right. And then once it's started, it's, it's not like a light where you just flip the switch and it just continues to stay on. Through the power of electricity, no, a fire, you've got to continue to put wood on that fire. Yeah. Otherwise, it will quench out. Yes. It'll simmer down. Right. You won't feel the heat off of it anymore. Right. And think about just the heat aspect of the fire of the Holy Spirit in us. People ought to move past us and set something on us. Yeah. They ought to feel a fire on us. Right. Come on. That's yeah. consuming me. Right. Yeah. You hear that? Right. Say, I'm a consuming fire. I want to hear it. Shout. I said, I said, I said, I fire! Amen. People need to feel that fire on right. you. They need right. to see that fire on you. Yeah. That fire ought to be absolutely burning every bit of junk in us yeah. that tries to steal that fire right. and quench that fire, that fiery flame in you. Yes. 
God has blood bought you to save a world that is dying in their sin. And you're the one. You're the one that's been sent. You're the one He chose. He chose you. And it was not by coincidence that God spoke to your heart one day. Glory. It was not by coincidence that God said, Come here. Come here. I love you. Let me be your father. Let me be the lover of your soul. Come get intimate with me. That fire is daily. Daily. Yes. Come on. Amen. Got to be cultivated. Right. Come on. Yes. Jesus. Five. Uh, five. Chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven in Matthew. He gets on a mountaintop and he just blows our minds about what the kingdom of God is. Yeah. And he tells us that we are to seek, and we are to knock, and we are to ask. Yes. You will only get out of God what you seek Amen. for, what you ask That's for, right. and what you go knocking on His yes. door. Right. Oh, God is not a vending yes. machine uh -huh. that you just That's drop right. the coin in and down. Christians were. He said there was a flame. 
They saw a flame on the chest. Hallelujah. That's how they spotted it. No word out of the mouth. They saw a flame. Those were the ones who said they didn't know that they could curse. They could bring hell's wrath down upon them. He said, but there was those That's right. we could not mess with. That's right. So David asked them, well, how'd you know that? He said, there was those that were engulfed. There was no fun. They were engulfed. In the fire. That fire was blazing over their That's head right. and outside their bodies. It was not contained. And we knew if you messed with this, That's right. There was consequences. Oh, we left them alone. So we knew what those consequences were. So ask yourself, where am I? Yeah. Where is my seeking heart? Yeah. Am I that one with that little flame right now? Or am I that one that's in gold? Come on. Where is Holy Spirit? Yeah. 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 Where do you want to be? Yeah. Yeah. Where do I want to be in this day? Yeah. 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 Walk this life out and hope we trust enough to get by and get through. We need an army, and we need an army that's involved by His Holy Spirit fire so that we can go be light bearers in a world that is looking for light amidst all the darkness around us. Thank you, God bless you. He said he would make his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Praise God. So Robert, good child. Praise God. I don't think anybody would mind sometime if we had him preach on Sunday morning. That's, that's good, good stuff. That's good stuff. I'm proud of him. Praise God. Amen. That puts a smile on this old man's face. Praise God. All right. I want you to grab